Hey everyone, this is Glaze TCG, and today I'm going to be opening up the Trainer's Toolkit, one of the best Pokemon boxes to ever be released. So, um, obviously we have 150 cards, 4 packs, 65 sleeves, 2 rule books, 7 dice, and um, a poison and burn counter. So, let's get right into it. Alright, I got a nice little hole in the plastic, so I could open it up quickly, I guess. So, pretty excited to get this. Lots of awesome cards in here. Plastic is almost off. Alright, look at that box. Looks pretty nice, if you ask me. Pretty awesome Pokeball there. Open it up. Looks like a chest. So here's the poison and burn counter. Pretty good quality. They're um, nice and plastic. And then, oh shoot. Um, we'll put that on there a little bit better. So here's the dice. We got numbers on the dice instead of just dots, so we could get higher numbers. And then we got a nice glittery dice. For our big boy. I'll show that to the camera a little bit better. Lots of glitter in there. And then we've got uh, just a, some nice black dice. Alright. Next we've got four packs. We've got an unbroken bond. Hopefully we can get another Dedenne GX or something. Sword and Shield. And then two Rebel Clash. And then we got these really awesome looking sleeves, which I will be using for the video. Awesome design. Probably my favorite sleeves that they've ever released. Um, we got, oh my goodness. We got the Dedenne GX. This is the main card of the box, in my opinion. This is one of the main reasons I bought it. Um, it's an amazing card, and it's going to be um, playable for a very long time. Or another year. So, this is going to be a really good card in decks for another year. And it's got an amazing art that you can't get anywhere else. So, we'll, we'll definitely put that in the back here, so you can look at it for the rest of the video. And then, we've got a bunch of trainer cards, which I'm going to sort out, and then I'll show you. Alright, I got all these cards sorted out, so let's go through them. We got Speed Energies, which are amazing in Pika Rom decks. Twin Energies, which I haven't really found a place in. Too many decks so far, but have amazing potential. Aurora Energy, which is absolutely amazing in all kinds of decks. The new alternate art reset stamps, which is which is basically a card in every single deck. Pokemon Communication, alternate art, which I personally really like. Pokegear 3.0, another alternate art that's also very amazing. Two Switch, which is a staple in basically every deck. Rare Candy, which um, a lot of these cards will be featured in a deck I'm making soon, um, which is going to be Green's Rillaboom, but it's going to take a while to get since there's a card coming out in Darkness Ablaze that's coming out August 14th, I believe, so it might take a while <laughs> for that video to come out. We got Tool Scrapper, pretty good card. Energy Spinner, a card I personally think is underrated. Air Balloon, amazing card. Evolution Incense, another amazing card. Giant Hearth, amazing in Fire Decks. Turfield Stadium, another card that's going to be in my Rillaboom deck. Vitality Band, it's a good card in certain decks. I, don't, I think it's okay. Ordinary Rod, really good card. Welder. Absolutely amazing in fire decks. Mallow and Lana, really good in 
tag team decks and any decks with high HP Pokemon. Green's Exploration, the staple card in my Green Jewel Boom deck. Professor's Research, absolutely amazing card. Marnie, also an absolutely amazing card. Fire Crystals, amazing for fire decks and especially baby Blacephalon decks. Um, Quick Balls, um, pretty much a four of in every single deck. Metal Saucers, amazing for Zashi and V and other metal decks. And then we got Boss's Orders, pretty much the main support or the main trainer card that you're guaranteed in this box. Um, amazing card, pretty much a, a staple in every single deck, no matter what. So, yeah. Next, we got some rule book thingies. I guess these can be good if you are kind of new. Not something I'm particularly excited about. And last but not least, we have a bunch of energies. I think a hundred. So, if you need energies, there you go. Alright. Now we're going to open up the packs. If we can beat $16, that means we made our money back with these packs, basically. Or, technically, since it's about a $30 box, that would mean the... If the packs are normally priced, then that's half the box, so that's pretty crazy. Alright, Unbroken Bonds is what we're opening first. We got a Grass Energy, an Energy Spinner, something we just got. Battery Charger Bug, I, that's a really fun card. Chip Chip Ice Axe, Rattata, Goldeen, Alolan Diglett, Slowpoke, Litten, Porygon Reverse Hollow, and... Wiggly Tough, regular rare. Decent pack there, I guess. Alright, next we got a Sword and Shield pack. And hopefully we can get a Zashi and V. That would be pretty be awesome. Four from the back. We got an Electric Energy. A Hitmonchan. A Galarian Linoon. Seeking. Galarian Ponyta. Mencino. Sobble, Blitbug, Ball Toy, Reverse Hollow Drizzile, and a Lapras V Max. Pretty awesome pull. Um, I guess if Frostmoth decks ever takes take off, then this card will be really good in that. So amazing card, really good V Max. Hasn't took off yet, but I I actually think it. It probably will eventually. So, amazing card. Amazing pack. Next, we've got Rebel Clash, pack number one. Hopefully, we could get a good trainer or two. Grass Energy, Sonia. <laughs> I actually don't have that card yet. Pelipper, Bronzong. Barboach, Aracuda, Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Reverse Hollow Surskit, and a Snorlax. Snorlax is my sister's favorite Pokemon, so she'll like that, I guess. Inteleon is on the last, last Rebel Clash pack. Let's see if we could get something good. We got a Dark Energy, a Heliosk, a Burning Scarf, Indeedy, Trubbish, Pit of, Helioptile, Voltorb, Sandy Gast, Reverse Hollow Palpitoad, and a Ninetales. Um, in my opinion, this card would be a good a good tech in a deck where you're playing the Ninetales that switches your opponent's Pokemon when you discard two Fire Energies. So yeah, let's do a recap. Alright, so here's the recap. We got two bosses orders, which um, obviously we got all kinds of good trainers, but these are the best ones in my opinion. Then we got the two Dedenne GXs. Amazing cards. Um, I've been, <laughs> I'm going to play Dedenne's in more decks of mine now, just because I have them. And then we got Lapras VMAX. An, an amazing pull. Definitely the best one we got, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely try to buy this if you haven't already, and if you still can, and that's pretty much it. 
Goodbye.